Bela Bartok, uh, uh, Hungarian. Does anyone know his music? Um, if you check out his second uh, piano concerto, he, this, this is the chord that, that he used with the string.
reform. Uh, it did repeat after one time through, but it's kind of A A with flowing A, cursive A. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that you know that gives you an example of something that's completely different, the uh, inspired and and composed from from Bartok. Now there's a, a incredible book called. Uh, by Erno Lenzvai, called Bartok and Fibonacci, where uh, Lenzvai exposes Bartok as an avid follower of the uh, Fibonacci number series, where he uses chord voicings and formal approaches and uh, almost everything according to a certain numeric theory. Some people, some uh, some Bartok enthusiasts and specialists, will argue the point, but it's pretty. Uh, Thing to argue about, and people are just trying to figure out how he did things, but it's one very good ex explanation. So I did the same thing. I mean, I, I read that book and I said some other stuff about the Fibonacci series and, and wrote a uh, set of uh, pieces where the guitar was tuned to chords which were not equally tempered. Does anybody know about the Fibonacci series? It's pretty fun for me to study this, and I'll digress for a second on that. But uh, it's a series of numbers which this uh, Italian monk figured out when he was studying how rabbits reproduce. Zero and one is one, one and one is two, one and two is three, two and three is five, and it goes on like that. Well, I set up a uh, So I set up a, uh, a series of chords, let's say, let's pick 55, because that's A, right? A440, and uh, an octave below that would be A220, an octave below that would be A110, an octave below that would be A55. Okay, well let's call this 1, 55, and let's call this 2, 110. And this 3 would have to be this addition, right? So that would be 165, and 5, and so forth. Well, I tune the guitar, well, let's say I tune the synthesizer to these notes. And after you get past this, this is an A, this is an A, I think this is an E. And it goes on and it makes kind of a major chord. But then when you get these relationships up here, the, uh, the fractions get kind of screwy, and the, the numbers aren't on the keyboard. But they can be measured with a frequency counter and a synthesizer. So I took the synthesizer and then by ear tuned my guitar to what the synthesizer chord was and recorded that and did a bunch of chords that were uh, so that's another yet another method of, of uh, just using uh, numbers. So I'd say that that my formal and uh, uh, harmonic approach are you know I'm trying to change I know that was as clear as mud for some of you. I did those for the Fibonacci enthusiasts. <laughs> you can uh, find Fibonacci uh, explanations of Bach pieces. There's also a few modern composers, the uh, Boulez and Stockhausen, who have used it. I myself, myself am a big fan of Morton Feldman, who is a very intuitive composer, a uh, student of John Cage. I had a few lessons with him before he died. I got on with him and did music very well. Uh, I like uh, quite a bit of rock music. I listen to uh, almost everything. <coughs> Prime to Todd Rundgren to Louis Okay, so let me go ahead and play something new and maybe you have some questions.